What's up guys? Got a brand new update deal for you today. Update. Yes. Yes, you could read. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, quite a big stuff. As always, I'm doing these videos right at the end of the night. It's 10.30, 8pm. My brain is gone. Is gone. So, let's get through this. Uh, the donator benefits for logging in every day still apply. So, if you're a Dragonstone donator and you log in every day this month, you will receive one donator point. You can see these right here, you can pause and take a look, or of course the link for the full list will be in the description below. This week's boost is Corporal Beast. It is now twice the chance of receiving a group loot chest from Corp. I like I said, my brain is dead, so just you're gonna get you're gonna get the best the best words I can put out of my mouth are the ones you're gonna get. That's that's you just accept it. Accept it. Um, third age hatchet works now. It's a little wonky, at least in regards to the animation, but it is a functional axe. It is better than dragon. That's also part of this update. Third Age Pickaxe and Hatchet are now better than their dragon counterparts, making them essentially the best axes and pickaxes in game. Uh, fixed various issues with Theater of Blood. Again, Dark is working on Theater of Blood, so I'm not exactly sure what issues were fixed. So we'll just keep it to various issues. Hopefully you, the players, will notice. PvP equipment is now 10% less effective outside of the Wilderness. Uh, last update, we made it the, exactly the same uh, between the Wilderness and, um, you know, non-Wilderness, but decided that that was probably a bad idea and we should keep it at least a little bit better. So uh, it's 10% worse outside of the Wilderness. Ironmen can now access the range equipment shop and the gym shop. No real reason they couldn't. It was just kind of slightly overpowered at the time, but um, decided not to... If damn you is Pumbaa, he just died. It's, it's me. It's me, Goober. How did they not figure that out? Um, Dragon Whip now has uh, plus four strength bonus and plus four uh, slash, so it's uh, a lot better. Uh, Dragon Whip now has special attack as well. The Dragon Hunter Lance's special effect has been increased by 15%. You can no longer open your bank while uh, standing in the wilderness. This basically is for the pet. The goblin banker pet kind of nerfs it. Uh, one one strategy was to just do fletching and crafting methods and shit like that uh, while you're training uh, in the resource arena. And also for PvP reasons, you could just bank your shit. There's a lot of reasons why you shouldn't be able to use a banker in the wilderness and that's now you know no longer an option. Uh, you can no longer use Cannon slash Banker Pet at God Wars, Zora, and Vorkath. So I didn't really care about the pet. It's the Cannon. If you bring your Cannon to those locations and then leave the room or die, your Cannon will be fucked in that location. And then you're going to be glitched, logged in, and I have to kick you out. I know that that's not good reasonings, but that was why. I don't want you to bring your Cannon in there. Um, it wasn't supposed to work, but the instances work in different ways than like your normal coordinates. So like it just... Until I can do it better, that is that is what's going to be the case. So no Banker Pet or Cannon is allowed in God Wars, Zora, and Forkath. Uh, Revenant Cave Teleport Scrolls now bring you closer to the actual Revenants. Then the teleport off of the interface has been changed to, to the North Cave entrance instead of the South Cave entrance. Just to make it so Revs are easier to get to and a little better. Revs have had their drops adjusted. This is kind of a massive change. Um, still needs lots of testing. That's what I was testing the... Uh, when Sibo kept trying to PK me, uh, that was the wrong button. But uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of tricky. Uh, the goal is to make the drops a little bit more realistic, and then also add we added all of the PVP armor. So uh, yeah, this is obviously Revenant M, so it's the shittiest drop rates. But to get anything crazy, one in sixty six hundred, and then um, yeah, all of the items are now on the table. Uh, Revenant Male Dictus, a new group boss, has been added. At the moment, he does not drop group loot chests, so it's not even a real group boss. But he does give everybody a loot who kills him, so that's you know that's the main thing that makes him a group loot boss, right? I'll, I'll fix the the, the thingy uh, in, in tomorrow's update. Hopefully, by the time you're seeing this, it, it'll be Gucci. But yeah, new Revenant. Uh, it's a it is a wilderness group boss, so that'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Already got some people PKing, so. You know, again, we'll see how that goes. Added some quick teleport commands, like for example, Kong Kong Slayer, uh, Kong Kong Hunter, Kong Kong Farming, Kong Kong Mining, Kong Kong Thieving, Kong Kong Agility. If you didn't know, you can also use this NPC to get easier tasks for free without um, paying points. So 
that's fun. Donators can also use Colon Colon Misc, which just teleports you to the top, you know, area of the miscellanea, just a little bit faster. Odak also sells a new invention. So this one, it kind of, yeah, the ideas for it basically did not work, and they did not work multiple times, so I ended up having to change my plan a billion times, and it kind of just ended up being what it is, but I will get into it. Smelter's Pickaxe, new invention, does not tell you what it's supposed to have because I'm a bad coder and I always forget to do shit like that. I'll do it though. We'll get there. So, uh, bronze pickaxe, one million corrupt, one million lucky. It's a very simple invention. Basically, all it does is if we spawn one, can I remember the ID? Before? I did remember the ID, and then I'm not gonna remember the coal bag because there's like five different variations of the coal bag. So basically, all this pickaxe does, and it, it is a normal pickaxe, it's better than a rune, but worse than a dragon. Um, so, I mean, if you don't have a dragon pickaxe, it's actually a, a decent pickaxe to use. But the main ability that it has is if you have a coal bag, this is a normal coal bag with no shenanigans. Do we have coal in the bank? We do have coal in the bank. You withdraw coal. When you have one there, it automatically puts 27 in your coal. You're probably familiar with the coal bag. If not, you're getting familiar. So then if you have a full inventory of rune ore, it would take from the coal bag first. That's the appeal to the coal bag is it, you know, stores coal. If you have the smelter's pickaxe on, you can store up to, uh, where's my coal? I believe 527? Yeah, you get to store up to 527 coal. So this is a really nice pickaxe for smelting like rune ore and shit like that. Very nice pickaxe. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it is very weird as a concept and in function, but you know, it was one of those things where at the end of it, it honestly should probably should not have existed. I probably should have just scrapped the entire idea, but I didn't. So yeah. Uh, old deck now purchases some of your old schematic stuff. So let me uh, trash all of this. So if you have like schematic halves or book of invention, extra book of invention, extra book of creation schematics, you can now use them on him and he will buy them back for a little bit of money. The chart is listed in the link in the description below. Uh, a new dark weapon has been added. It is, uh, so what you have to do is, oh, that's not the place you go. What you have to do is you can either buy the John's Battle Axe from the Donator Store. It's also available in Uber boxes, Elite boxes, and Group boxes. It's the same rate as the Rapier. It's basically the same exact concept as the Rapier, just a different item. I'll, uh, I'll buy this. I'll buy it and let you take a look at the stats. This is what the non upgraded version looks like. And with those stats, it does actually count as a hatchet as well. Uh, if we go to Kong Kong Wood Seat, it counts as a hatchet, has a little unique animation, and it is the best hatchet in game. Uh, I believe this one is slightly better than Dragon, and then the upgraded version, again, is even better. So if you're wondering how to upgrade it, it is the dark, it is a, considered a dark weapon. So all you have to do is load up the dark weapon schematic. <laughs> all you have to do is spawn it like me right there. And then it is just, I just now realizing these options are cut off. I have to fix that. But uh, it's this last one, Ghost Hunter, BX. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the same exact stuff as the other, as the other ones. You, if you've made one, you've you figured it out again. Ah, oh, but <laughs> like I said, it is a, there's a lot of stuff in this update. There's a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of different places, a lot of things to remember. Uh, Ruby now sells bolt racks. No, I don't think Ruby sells. Oh no, Ruby sells the Royal Seed Pod for five mil. I think it's in the general store for twenty five mil, so it's just cheaper. And then if you go to the EL, which a lot of people don't even know the EL exists, colon colon EL, or you can just walk over to the ladder over here. Come trade a Rosalo. Uh, bolt racks. I don't know if that was like worth going into so much effort to show you, but yeah, I did. Uh, and then some new items were added to the disassemble list. The Dark Relic for more Dark Components. Ancient Wars Equipment, which is like the PvP stuff, Vesta, Stadius, Zerials, all that shit, is now for Corrupt Components. Suske Spear, John's Battle Lap Uber, and then Red and Purple Minifight, slash Afro, slash Gold Helmet is now Rare Components. So yeah, a lot of stuff. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Peace.